Yo, what's up YouTube? Before we start, you already know, smash a like on this video for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. Make sure to follow Team Island on the IG page, TikTok, Twitter, and sub to the, uh, to the Twitch channel if you haven't. And let's get right into the video. Today's video, I'll be explaining how to train your eyes to be more disciplined. So we're gonna talk about press man, where your eyes should be, off man, where your eyes should be, when you're in phase with the receiver, what you should look for, and what to do when you're in zone coverage. We're we'll talking about press man first. When in press, you're gonna first line up inside leverage based on the receiver's alignment, right? And your eyes gotta be on the hips, right? Personally, I like looking at the near hip because it's better for me. If you feel like that's better for you, give it a shot. If not, keep it on the hips. Now, when we're inside, boom, you're here in your stance, you're being patient, right? Always remember, you move your feet before hands, right? So your eyes gotta be where it needs to be so you can move your feet, boom, and then when you're positioned to shoot your hands, you wanna shoot your hands, all right? I'm gonna explain a couple of drills that will help you get more discipline with your eyes and press. So for this first one, right? This is the DB right here, he's in a stance, his eyes are disciplined, right? I'm putting my hands where my hips would be. So all he's gonna do is move laterally with my hands. So I'm here, he's moving with it, taking little steps, step replace, step replace, step replace. That's the first one, right? Now we're really focusing on moving with, the, with our eyes, right? So we move with our eyes patiently, boom, keeping the eyes down, you can mix it up, whatever you wanna do, but start slow and then build up the speed. All right, so this next one, now we're taking another step from the same drill. Same, he's in a stance, he's moving with him, moving with him, right? Now, we're gonna add the kick step to it, so what we're gonna do is he's in the stance, he's moving, moving, I give him a number, four, four. he yells out four, he kick step and go. That helps discipline your eyes, make sure your eyes is where it needs to be, and you can work the kick step and the technique at the same time. This one. Walk releases, really got to work from the ground up. You got to really take your time, make sure your eyes are where it needs to be and you're disciplined with it. So we're just doing some walk releases, boom, 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 shoot the hand. Make sure the eyes are disciplined and you're moving with your eyes. Eventually, as you get better at this, then you obviously speed up the releases, speed up the, obviously you speed up the drill, right? So now we get into some regular releases, boom, boom, okay. It's like a good rep right there. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna talk about in phase when we're with the receiver and after press man. So right here, boom. This is the receiver, I'm the DB. So we did, we're done with the press, right? Now we're running with the receiver. So we're being right here. Now, very important, as we're running the receiver, we gotta be able to understand what routes to, to expect. So we're keeping our eyes on the hip. If the hip drop, we drop, right? So we're working on working the uh, hip drop. So we're running with the receiver, jogging with him. He drops his hip, we drop. He drops his hip, we drop. He drops his hip, we drop. All right, so we're just working on that, and we're gonna build off that. With the hip drop, now we're gonna really make things more realistic, right? So we're running with the receiver. We gotta remember, five, 10, 15. After the receiver passed five yards, if his hip don't drop, we're still keeping our eyes on the receiver's hip. Past 10 yards, his hip don't drop, keep your eyes on the receiver's hip. Past 15 yards is either a comeback or a fade. If you don't see the receiver hip drop, now we gotta get in position to lean and locate, right? Most of the routes, five short routes. So that's slant, hitches, speed outs, 10 yards, dig, the break point for a post or corner. And then at 15 yards is usually either a comeback or a fade. So now we know it's not a comeback. We get into that position to lean and locate, and then we're gonna use the sideline as a help. So all we're working right now is we're here. He, all he's gonna do is he's just gonna jog for 15, so we get to 15, so nothing drop at five, 
Nothing dropped the 10, 15, boom, get in position to lean and locate. Off man. Off man, you're obviously a little bit further back, but your eyes are very important in this one, right? You gotta make sure you're reading the receiver's hips. You gotta move with the receiver. I'll explain that a little bit more. And then you gotta make sure we know when to open up to run with the receiver. When we're in off man, right? You wanna be seven yards off, seven to eight yards, right? One yard inside, inside leverage, because that's we're protecting our inside. If he's lined up a cut split, then we adjust our leverage, be outside leverage. But right now we're inside leverage, about seven yards, boom, outside up, right? Now, this drill right here, we're really gonna work on moving with the receiver. So we're gonna add our weave into this. So the receiver's gonna be, give us a nice little release. He's here, boom, weaving, weaving, boom. He stirs great, strain us up, boom, breaks out, boom. Boom. Right here, we're breaking. All right, we're making sure our eyes are disciplined and it's where it needs to be. Now this is the weave drill. So we have seven yards, right? Inside leverage, we're in our stance. Receiver's gonna move and he's gonna make us weave, right? Boom, we wanna protect our leverage the whole time. He strains us out, he weaves us again. Boom, boom, keep your eyes on the hip. Boom, right? That's all we working on. You're gonna start slow and then build the speed, right? As we build the speed, make sure your eyes are disciplined, you're weaving, taking a proper technique when you're weaving and you're protecting your leverage. This next drill, we're working on the cushion. The cushion part, keeping your eyes disciplined where you need to be and know when to open up with the receiver. So I'm the receiver, this is the DB right here. You want the DB to be about three yards away. All we're doing is slowing down, right? We're keeping it slow, we're jogging. I break the cushion, boom, he gets to the hip. Boom, then we reset. Boom. Jogging, boom, get to the hip, boom. All we're doing with that, make sure your eyes are disciplined, you're reading that near hip of the receiver, that's very important because that will help you take better angles when you need a break and you can see the hip drop better. All right, so now we're gonna put everything a little bit together. So he's gonna be about seven yards. I'm here, my, that's the DB, I'm the receiver. I'm gonna start off, we're gonna build it up to speed, right? So start off going, make him weave, boom. Try to close the cushion, open up, boom, we on the hip. So we're putting everything together in the last part. Cushion drill, know when to open up. You wanna open up about two yards. A lot of people say an arm and a half. So you gotta find that timing, be smart, keep your eyes where it needs to be, keep the eyes on that near hip and you'll be in good position to run with the receiver. Now, we're gonna talk about zone. It's very important when we're playing in zone, we have to get depth. We have to get depth so we can see everything. If we're playing deep zone, we gotta get deep so we can be the deepest of the deepest so we can see all the routes that are threats to us in our zone. Now, when we break, it's always important. We'd rather break downhill than chase. So if we have deep zone coverage, we do not want anything behind us. So this is a drill that we work on right here. We have two people on each side. Uh, the DB's in the middle. He's gonna take his walk and he's gonna speed his pedal up. He speeds it up, speeds it up. He's reading the QB. He sees his threats in the peripheral, right? Now, QB points his shoulder one way, boom. Locate, you see the long arm action, very poor. You see the long arm action, so boom, long arm action. Boom, we drive and locate the receiver. As we get closer, we locate the ball and go make a play. Walk, pedal. Damn. Good. Now, pedal. Good. Pedal. Go, 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 go. So this next one, similar drill. Now we're just gonna add a weave to it. So as you're pedaling, right, quarterback's just turning his shoulders. Turning his shoulders. So you're here, you're weaving, boom. He points this way, weaving, boom. Weaving, weaving. Now you see the long arm action, we are driving to the target. Make sure you locate and then go find the ball. Now we're gonna work, talk about man turn. Now man turn is you only man turn in certain situations where you're near the goal line for the back shoulder fade. We're gonna work on moving our feet 
to match with the receiver's release to get hands on. So it's kind of like te catch technique, right? See here, boom, you're patient. You do not want to give ground, right? You do not want to give ground. He gives you a release. You just slide, move laterally, right? Get hands on. Now, man turn is where our eyes are facing the receiver. All right, this is zone turn where the eyes are facing the quarterback, the receiver's behind us. Man turn, we're turning towards the receiver. So now when we get hands on, is that very important? As soon as we get hands on them, when we know it's a fade, we sky our eyes, right? We make sure we look up for the ball because the ball's already in the air. We don't want to look back because the ball's already gone over our heads. So we got to get our hands on them, make sure we feel the receiver, look up for the ball, and now we can play the ball. If we can't make the play on the ball, now we just play the ball through the First, receiver's hands. When we're lining up, make sure your heels are not at the goal line, right? So right here, heels, yep, right on the goal line. Now, all I'm doing, this is a drill. We're just working our catch technique into sky or eyes, right, man turn. So we're here, jog in, boom. Get as I get close, I give him a move. Boom, shoot his hands. Man turn and sky your eyes. Now you're just to make the ball, play on the ball if you can. If you're not, play the receiver's hands. Let's go work hang technique. Okay, and I'm gonna just be the receiver. See, since that's just a hit, speed to spot. Sky your eyes. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's on the outside it. release, I wanna see hands on and I wanna see you sky your eyes. Okay, what it simulates is this outside release, fade, sky my eyes, find the ball. Sky your eyes, right? Be on the ball with your feet. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Sky your eyes, hands. Hands out, sky your eyes. Body to body. Get out the end zone. Get the out the end zone. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Sky your eyes. So now, if you use all these tips and tricks with your eyes, right, you'll be better positioned to make more plays. Remember, disciplined eyes leads to great plays. So you gotta make sure you take your time to really do this drill. Start slow and then build up the speed. As you get better, you keep going, keep going. Repetition is the key. Repetition and consistency is what's gonna help you take your game to the next level. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Share with your cousins, share with everybody, mamas, brothers, sisters, grandmas, Grumpus. Let everybody know Team Islands where it's at. So if you haven't, make sure to follow us on IG, TikTok, Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. We're on there weekly going over a lot of good DV, DB film, reaction videos and everything. So make sure it's a lot of fun interaction with a lot of athletes and it's good vibes and everything. So make sure you tune in next time we stream. To the end of the video, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.